Starting treatment for depression can be intimidating, especially when there's so much new information being thrown your way. And we know that young people who reach out and access treatment have a better chance of getting better and staying well. So it's important to find ways to make all that information easier to digest and to use steps that have the best chance of working. That's why a team of researchers and youth developed the Caribou Pathway. Caribou stands for Care for Adolescents Who Receive Information About Outcomes. This evidence-based care pathway is structured, so all the steps are laid out right in front of you. And you get an idea of what the whole picture looks like right from the beginning. It's also collaborative, so you and whoever you want to support you, like your family and your care team, get a say in what your treatment looks like. You are in control of what the pathway looks like for you. The Caribou Pathway is for young people who are experiencing depression. The pathway starts with an information session called Mood Foundations. This will help you and your family understand depression a little bit better, including what can cause it and how eating, movement, and sleep can affect your mood. You and your family will meet separately, so you can feel comfortable talking openly about your experience with mental health experts. This includes young people who have experience with depression and are familiar with accessing treatment. There may also be other young people who are starting off on the pathway, just like you. The next part of the pathway includes two parts therapy, and support for your family members. You'll be able to join up to 16 sessions of Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT for short. Cognitive means working with your thoughts, and behavioral means working with your actions. These two things come together in the pathway to help improve your mood. The focus of CBT is to challenge thoughts and behaviors that may not be benefiting you, and to develop skills that allow you to tackle the things you're struggling with. And if CBT isn't a fit for you, a different therapy called Brief Psychosocial Intervention, or BPI, may be offered. And every four weeks, you'll fill out some questionnaires on how you're feeling so you can track your progress. These take about 15 minutes. You and your care team will meet to discuss what's been working and what hasn't. Remember, your treatment is flexible and you can personalize it. And you also have the option to get support from your family members if you feel like this would be helpful. This can include eight weekly sessions for your family members to help them understand your experiences and how to best support you. And if you and your care team feel like it's right for you, you can discuss introducing medication into your treatment. In this branch, you can explore medication options that follow a plan based on what researchers have found to work best for young people. Your medication may need to be adjusted, and that's normal. Medications are not one-size-fits-all. It's all a part of the process, and you'll always have the opportunity to check in with your care team to make changes. And that's the Caribou Pathway. And remember, treatment can look differently for everyone. Your treatment may continue after Caribou, as you finish the pathway. If you're doing well, we'll talk about how to best maintain this frame of mind. And if you're still struggling with any symptoms, don't worry. You and your care team will work together to figure out the next steps. Think of the different parts of the pathway as pieces of a puzzle. It might take some time to figure out where they go and how they fit together, but the big picture is worth it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you'll have the support of your care team every step of the way.